You need to watch this if your daily stand-up meetings are long, unproductive, or chaotic. I'm Emily from Parable. At Parable, teams have held over 650,000 daily stand-up meetings using our tool. And we've designed over 50 unique daily stand-up questions to make your updates more engaging. We're obsessed with making the daily stand-up the least hated meeting. Daily stand-ups can easily turn into intricate problem solving or long-winded discussions. I'm gonna show you how to master the skill of the daily stand-up with 10 simple principles. So you know what to say and how to say it. These tips are designed to keep your meetings sharp, focused, and incredibly productive. Imagine cutting your meeting times in half and still achieving more productivity and action items than ever before. Let's dive in. Number one, only mention what's relevant to most meeting participants. If you wanna have a great stand-up meeting, don't. Go into detail and back and forth conversations about tasks, problems, and projects. Give statements that hold no value for anyone, like, I did the same as yesterday, or I'm going to write some code today. Talk to just one person about a topic. Make this stand up about you. Save the personal problems and opinions for your one-on-one -on -one meetings. Two, focus on items that impact today's work. Here are some guidelines you can keep in mind so you can focus your update on today's work. Adaptation, is there anything we need to change about our plans to reach the sprint goal? Short-term planning, what do we need to discuss and complete today to stay on track to reach our sprint goal. Impediments. What stands in the way of today's work? Number three, communicate blockers that affect your work. When someone blocks your work, the daily stand-up is an excellent opportunity to raise that issue. But doing so isn't always that easy, especially if it's someone specific who's blocking your work. Here are some tips on how to bring up people who are blocking your work during the daily stand-up. Remember the prime directive. Regardless of what we discover, we must understand and truly believe that everyone did the best job he or she could, given what was known at the time, his or her skills and abilities, the resources available, and the situation at hand. So stick to facts and observations. State what you need, from whom, and when you need it by. Don't add presumptions about why the person should find the task easy or hard, or how long you think it will take them to finish that work. You can also highlight what's at stake if getting what you need seems challenging. That way everyone understands the trade-off between solving your problem now versus leaving it for later. Four, acknowledge dependencies you're responsible for. When you know someone is waiting for something from you, be proactive about mentioning it. Here are some benefits for following this rule. You save the other person from worrying about bringing you up as a blocker. The other person knows it's on your radar and they can adjust their plans or find another solution. And you can get help more quickly if you need it. Five, hold each other accountable. Team members should hold each other accountable for getting work done. But achieving accountability as a team is difficult because it requires trust. So what do stand-ups look like for teams that have trust? They tell each other openly when they can't meet their commitments without worrying about an argument or retaliation. They're able to avoid political games. When politics get involved, it ends up dictating what people say in their updates. And with trust, teams are able to give feedback about the work and never about another person. Six, highlight remarkable problems when you've found them. When you find a problem that seems unfixable that might affect the customer or other teams, bring it up. Here are a few tips. Try not to immediately go into problem solving mode. If you need other folks to help, offer to schedule a meeting about the specific issue. If you're already planning to resolve the issue yourself, let others know you're working on it, if you foresee any roadblocks, and when you expect to resolve the issue. Seven, make changes to the existing plan. You can and should talk about any required changes to your plan to stay on track for the sprint goal. Here are some things to keep in mind. The daily standup is the ideal moment to check how confident people are about hitting the goal and to make course corrections to stay on track. Don't discuss new goals and plans. 
That's something you should save for sprint planning. Eight, ask for specific help when you need it. When you face a challenge and you know what help you need, but not necessarily who can help you, mention it during the standup. Here are some things to keep in mind. Don't go into a long-winded description of the issue if you don't know what help you need. Instead, share that you're facing a challenge and that you'd like to talk with someone after the stand-up meeting. Nine, offer help when you can give it. Thankfully, most of us are inclined to offer support to a teammate when they have an issue we can solve. Here's some things to keep in mind. Offering your help might jeopardize your existing commitments. Make sure to highlight the work you need to drop or deprioritize if you're going to take on extra work. 10. Mention completed tasks others need to know about. Daily stand-ups shouldn't be status updates, but you can share work items that you've completed when you think the info might help you or others. A few things to keep in mind. Sharing work you've completed makes sense when it serves a purpose. For example, your completed task is a trigger for somebody else to start on another piece of the project. So, which of the 10 rules are you going to keep in mind during your next daily stand-up meeting? Let us know in the comments. Try Parable's tool for remote teams to run daily stand-up meetings at parable.co. Sign up and run your meetings for free today.